this is question number 27 and uh, here we are asked to determine the decimal value of each signed binary numbers in the ones complement form okay so all the numbers here which are mentioned so these are basically the ones complement representation of any decimal number so in previous lectures we have determined the binary equivalent of the positive and negative numbers so today we are going to discuss the binary to decimal number conversion okay so basically there are two methods the first uh, method here is let me take the first part of it here so one double zero double one double zero one okay so that is basically the eight bit binary number okay so what we have to do here are basically two methods let me first discuss the first method okay so according to this method what we have to do let me write it by using this green color so what we have to do this is the ones complement so the number we have here is one double zero double one double zero one okay so as the leftmost bit here is one so we can see that this is a negative number in the decimal equivalent okay so what we have to do first of all we have to take the ones complement of it Okay. So, once complement of it will be 0, double 1, double 0, double 1 and 0. Okay. So, that is the once complement of it and then we have to convert it to the binary one. So, again the binary equivalent of it will be how much? So, again writing 2021, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27. Now, writing these numbers here what we will get this is 0 1 1 double 0 double 1 and 0 okay so uh, multiplying each term with the corresponding bit here what i will get here i will get here 2 1 is 2 this is 2 okay this 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 this will be 0 this will be 0 this is uh, how much 2 raised power 5 is 32 okay and this is what this is 64 so now uh, getting it what i will get 64 plus 32 is how much 96 96 plus 4 is uh, 100 and then 102 so that is 102 and previously we have seen that it would be a negative number due to this bit so therefore it will be minus 102 so this is the method number one in which we have seen that the answer is minus 10t similarly in order to find the decimal equivalent of it by using the second method so second method here will be here the second method will be so let me first write here two zero two one two 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 three two four two five two six and minus two seven we have to write the negative sign with this two raised power seven and now we have to write the bits here so let me use the blue color for the method number two so now writing the bits here so i will get here one zero zero double one okay double zero and one now converting it what i will get again the same procedure so here i will get one okay plus this is eight this is eight this is 16 okay and this is how much this is 128 so negative of it is minus 128 okay so now i will have 128 plus 16 plus 8 is how much that is uh, 24 plus 1 is 25 so here i have 25 so here minus 128 plus uh, 125 is how much that is minus 103 okay so at the end we will get when 103 we have to add one with it so i will get here minus 102 okay so this is from the method number two while this minus 102 is from method number one so we can see that both the answers are correct so uh, you can see that whatever method you want to use it will be 
up to your convenience so whichever method you like to do here okay so that is the first video in which we have discussed the two methods which you can use so this is method number two which i have represented with this blue color and this is method number one which is done by this green color okay so i will see you with these two parts in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself